Welcome in baseball fans and here in New York interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees John Shambi on the play by play with you Chris Singleton providing the color and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year Juan Soto always exciting to see him in action and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game yeah but it, it's offensively at the play defensively when he's on the bases I and mean, this guy's just a heads up player but he's got so much talent and he makes the most of that I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at bat. Just about ready to go. And on the mound now, Garrett Cole. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Next one misses. And that's ball one. When Cole's brother-in-law Brandon Crawford took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford. One that said adios pelota and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. Here's Luis Guillorme. He was one for five back on Sunday. And that's in there for strike one. Bounced up the middle. The throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Third, the second base, Jeff. Two McNeil. outs, base is empty. And now here's Jeff McNeil, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. That misses, ball one. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate right here. He's working inside. And it's one and one. Kicks and deals. And a big swing and a miss. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Met zero, Yankees coming up. Back after this on the show. Back in the Bronx. And towing the slab in this one, Kodai Senga. What do you got on him, Chris? Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is foul back. Next one is off the plate. And a count two and one. Out towards right center field. Escobar drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit, trying to bounce back after going 0 for 5 on Sunday. In there, and it's 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. Going to count one and two. Two 
That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Escobar makes a nice run and catch. Batting third. Watt Soto now. Big time power. He's third in the AL in home runs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Escobar on his way over. Brings it in. And that is that. Back at Yankee Stadium, new inning getting started. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Righty delivers. Way out front for strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Ball one. Next one in the dirt. One ball. And two here it comes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That's in there. Strike one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. The 0-1. Now a one and one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that'll do it. Down in order, go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Bottom half of inning number two, Aaron Judge at the plate. Aaron Judge. Senga back to work. That one misses. One and oh. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Kicks and fires. To third, Baden. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. One for three in the game back on Sunday. And first offering is fouled off. That one, one missed. Ball, one Swings and misses. It's a ball two and strikes. two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away down. And now it's Salvador Perez to the play. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one.
Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He was all over that one. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's Franchi Cordero. Now a screamer into the outfield. Escobar makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Yanks leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at Yankee Stadium, leading off, Mark Canna. Cole back to work. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. And there's a foul ball. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Strike two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Ground ball left side. Whips it across. Lindor retire. And that'll do it. Mets leave one. Still no score. Back for more from the Bronx as we go to the last of the third. Now up is the Yankees DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. Out to short, Lindor. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Glaber Torres. Senga goes six foot one, 200 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 so far. That misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. On the ground, right side. McNeil gets it to first, and that is the third out of the inning. On to the fourth. Now here is Luis Guillorme. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. And down on strikes. One away. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. McNeil in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bunt attempt, but that goes foul. The wind of the pitch. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. 
Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Nimmo stands in now and watches strike one. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Alonso leads off first with two down to the inning. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Met strand one, and we're still knotted at. Ready to go for the last half of the inning at the play. DJ LeMayhew. And the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. You know, these Yankees, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. Next offering misses, and it's 2-1. One strike. Swing and a ball popped up. McNeil calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Juan Soto. Glide out his first time. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And fouled off. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the right hater deals. That misses. And it's two and two. Swings through it for the K. Nasty fork ball for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here is Aaron Judge. Grounded out his first time. Swings and misses. 0-1. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Here comes an 0-2 to judge. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So the Yanks go. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That's through there for a strike. Well, these Mets just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Foul ball still 0-2. In the air to left center. Soto gets under it. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Here's Mark Canna, and he's already singled in this game. There's a strike. And a good eye there. The 1-1. One -one. 
There's a strike. And that one hit 97 on the glove. Now at 10 K's with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Escobar batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Ball one low. That's a little bit low. Two one. Here comes a pitch. Inside ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. There's a swing and a drive. Verdugo reaching back towards the wall and brings it in at the wall. Nothing doing for the Mets. Halfway through this one, still no score. Welcome back. John Shami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And yeah, that's outside. You know, these Yankees just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. And the righty deals. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Two, two. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And yeah, there's ball four. four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Salvador Perez. One for one with a single so far. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Narvaez can't squeeze it. Gets away. Not the finest start to an inning you've ever seen. A walk followed up immediately by a pass ball. And now this offense has a runner in scoring position, and they've hardly had to work for it. Let's see if they can capitalize. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Up next to the Not shortstop. And now the shortstop, Franchi Cordero. That one's in there, 0 and 1. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Good eye right there. Look out! And it hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And that one in the air center field. Nimmo has it sized up. 
And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here comes Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1. Hard hit, base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Comes through with the RBI. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Alex Verdugo. In the air, left field. Canna gliding to his right. He's got it, and that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. This is Yankees baseball on the show NYC. Back in the Bronx, here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Cole back to work. And that's through there for a strike. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys... They'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next pitch is outside. Bounce to the right side. In plenty of time to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player, Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. And first offering is fouled off. A little out front there as he swings through it. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five oh. next inning. Next offering upstairs. Struck him out looking. Offense held in check there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. Yankees one, and the Mets nothing. Well, we go bottom six and stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. And a pitch on the ground. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You've got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Soto up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, and they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a five, four, three double play get turned. I mean, 
Just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Here comes Aaron Judge. Rips that one center field. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And here is Anthony Rizzo. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Next offering is foul back. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Next ball, pitch right misses outside, and that's ball one. Judge off of first with two away. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next offering way off the plate. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. 3-2 on the way. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. One left for the Yankees, but they lead it one to nothing. Top of inning number seven, Jeff McNeil stands in. The wind in the pitch. And he pumps in a strike. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Next one just misses. And the count is one and two. Now fly ball to right center. Verdugo ranging after it. And there's one down. Here's Pete Alonso. This guy with light tower power. That's in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Strike two. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right ball after one. these hitters. And one takes ball. low for ball Two's one. Right. Got him. Out number two. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And that one hammered. That's back. And it's gone. He'll circle the bases, his ninth homer of the year, and we are starting over. It's 1 1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Up the middle, Cordero. Tosses to first. That's the third out. But the Mets get even on this solo homer. 
All even now at 1-1. You're watching Yankees baseball on the show, NYC. Welcome back. And the batter now, Salvador Perez. And a pitch. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone! Home run! He sends a rocket to left. And they jump in front in the seventh. It's 2-1. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again and here comes the Mets manager to the mound pitching change coming Kodai Singh taking over on the mound for the Mets Carlos Carrasco he's into the game with the bases empty so up next Franchi Cordero That one pushed to the left and foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Ball nope, one there. Ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. John Curtis, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Santana getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two strikes. Struck him out looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Here's Stanton now. That one fouled off. The pitch. Well, that's really the money spot down and away if you can locate that consistently it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up that's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen chases the fastball up the ladder struck him out on the ground to third to first inning over one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're done. So they turn to Lou Trevino. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Foul ball there. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That's outside. Two balls, two strikes. The tying run at the plate. Got him. And one away. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Escobar in the box now. Takes strike one. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count is 0-2. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that's ripped for a base hit. 
So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Omar Narvaez at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. That's a strike, and the count is 0-2. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The next pitch misses, and the count 1-2. and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one 95 to finish him off. So the lineup flips over. Here's Francisco Lindor. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Righty to the plate. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score, and they've tied it. It's 2-2. Two -two. He only gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. It doesn't come naturally for most hitters. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Guillaume up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Popped in the air, left field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. The run scores from second, it's 3-2. Picks himself up in RBI. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough, but right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Right handed reliever. And that one missing low. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. That's inside. On the ground, right side. Torres over to first. That's out number three. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets three and the Yankees two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Brooks Raley. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and now it's even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Edwin Diaz, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. So now one and two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now one away. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with the cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. LeMayhew, the next to hit, takes outside. Lifted in the air, right field. Escobar ranging back. And there's two away. And now it's Juan Soto, known for his late-inning heroics. 
Swings through that one out in front that time. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Next pitch misses. Now 1 and 2. And another ball. Two two now. Ground ball right side. Sneaks through base hit. And that extends the inning. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. First pitch just misses with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. The 1-0. Swings through that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Lindor jumps, throws, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jonathan Loisica. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. The pitch. Alonzo leading things off and takes a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here, and they add a run. It's 4-2. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Out to short, Cordero. Throws the first, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. The batter, the third baseman, Brett. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Loisica, in his fifth season, he features a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. The 0 1. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Here's the 0 2. In the air to left down the line. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. Up next to the net, the left fielder, Mark. Two outs, base is empty. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. Strike one. Out front, rip foul. him looking that's a strikeout the Mets add one to their lead on this solo shot it's now 4-2 
This is the Subway Series on the show. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. The pitch. Rizzo in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Nimmo makes the grab and a quick out number one. You know, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Cordero in the box now as he leaves that one up high. The Yankees looking to rally. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. The one two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Stanton at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Strike two. That was absolute gas, triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Smash to the left side. On to first, ball game. And the Mets take game one of the series on the road. Sometimes you can flip a coin with these short two-game series, but they came out, they got the first game, and that's all you want to do. You know you're guaranteed a split at this point, but now you got to turn the page and get ready for the next game. Perhaps you get a two-game sweep. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. for our ball game tonight.
and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Juan Soto leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Carlos Rodon. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Down the middle for a strike. And this one is off and running. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Rodon ready. Here comes. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Brandon. Rodon, multi-time All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. And now the lefty. Yep. Caught him looking for the K. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Jeff McNeil stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Fifth in the Ed Allen batting average coming into this one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The two on. This to center field. Verdugo gets under it. Puts the squeeze on it. That is the inning. Mets go down quickly. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in New York. And towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. In now is the Yankees' DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. Yeah, that's too high. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. On the corner for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now the youngster Juan Soto smoked in the left base hit. Waste no time there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. First offering and it just misses. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about, you know, filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them to put all the accomplishments that he's had in his career. On the ground to the left. The 1 1. Judge rips that one. That's back. Judge 
Edge leaves the yard, and they jump out front. It's 2-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Here's Alex Verdugo, fourth in the American League in batting average this year. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And he takes a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One, two. And base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Hit weakly on the ground. And that's just foul. Verdugo, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. This one high in the air to left center. Nimmo puts it away for the out. Two down. The throw is wild and it gets away. Anthony Rizzo Daddy steps Rizzo. to the plate. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Out towards left center. Fam on the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Two-run blast for the Yankees this inning. And it's two-zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top of the second, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Rodon back to work. That's in there. Strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swings and misses. One out. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Ground ball up the middle, and a base hit right there. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now, here is Francisco Alvarez. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And, and there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out on that double play. Got him. That's out number two. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that is a foul ball. Rodon ready. The 0-2 on the way. That one just misses. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. 
Mets leave one and they're down to nothing. Back in New York, and here is DJ LeMayhew. The third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. And here it comes. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's Franchi Cordero. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Verlander, the reigning Cy Young Award winner, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one. Relay to first. Double play. Great job on the mound. Fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two thousand and thirteen in the playoffs you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet it was my wrist and my hand swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field coming on is fam to make the play two it's a two nothing ball game back in the Bronx top half of the third inning here's Mark Canna there's a strike. Canna in his ninth season in the eighth spot in today's lineup and he's driven in eight runs over his last ten games and now it's even up definitely a swing and miss slider down and in he finished that really well just couldn't get him to offer at it gonna count one and two one ball two strikes and the one two misses to even the count the pitch Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Here's Tommy Pham. That one misses more. the zone. One ball, one strike. That one ball. missed. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and fires. That one lifted to left. Soto going after it. Squeezes it. Then there's two away. Now that is the and now it's Frankie Lindor. Grounded out his first time up. In there for strike one. Lindor, a multi gold glove award winner, a member of the 1000 hit club, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And a pitch. One, two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here 2 0. Back at Yankee Stadium, now it's the DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Juan Soto now. 
Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That clips the zone, and it's nothing in two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankee. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now, Brandon Nimmo. Rodone back to work. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. He puts it in his pocket. Safe at first without a play. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there... It just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. That's and now let's see if they force some action with good Two wheels on the bases. No Rodon fires. Out to center. Cordero sizing this one up. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. And there's one down. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a ball. Nimmo, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a swing and a miss. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Rodon sets and deals. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And the batter down, Francisco Alvarez. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, could have a really good day out there in the mound. And it's fouled away. Got him! Third out, and that ends the frame. Two left for the Mets. They trail things here, 2-0. Now in the Bronx, bottom of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. That's towards center. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the catch for the out. Here's a big power threat, Salvador Perez. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, 
that I went to as a kid. I sat safe at second. He legs out the double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So, man aboard. And here is Anthony Rizzo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Gets him to chase after that one. one. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. So now one and two. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. The one, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Man at second. And now the count is even. Runner at second here, one gone. Now he breaks his bat. Slings to first. Rizzo out of the play. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. And he's already singled in this game. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Oh. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. And one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Perez around third. He scores, and they lead by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And stepping in for the Yankees, Franchi Cordero. That's in there. That's strike one. LeMayhew, the runner at first with two gone. To second, there's Lindor. And that ends the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back for more from the Bronx. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the right fielder, Darren Ruff. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Well, these Mets, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, he stood no chance in that at bat. A three-pitch strikeout, swung through all three. Tell you what, Boog, it's not a good feeling at all. You know that from experience? Uh, it's happened a time or two. If I didn't roll over on the first pitch, sinker to second base, then, you know, in there long enough, then I would, yeah, I've, I've had a couple. Wow. My guy hacktastic. <laughs> Canna in the box with one away as he takes ball one. His first at bat was a strikeout. And it's even up. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Over to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Two outs, space is empty. And now Tommy Pham. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And first offering is fouled off. Here's your one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. In there at the knees, and it's one and two. And that just misses. Two outs. And now it's three and two. Okay. 
Hicks boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. And he deals. He swings and hits a fly ball center field. Verdugo gets under it. He's got it and that'll end the inning. And the Mets go down one two three. They trail it here three. Nine. Back at Yankee Stadium. John Chambi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Glaber Torres. The right hander back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Coming on is Fam to make the play, and there's one down. Now back, the designated hitter. Next is the designated hitter, Oswaldo Cabrera, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Left field, fam, under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. Here's Juan Soto, one for two. Juan Soto. In there, and it's 0 1. Next offering is foul back. This to third, and that chance handled. Zips it across, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Back in the Bronx, top six. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. That's inside. Ball one. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Foul ball. The 2 2. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Safely into second. He's got a double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Late with the swing there. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering in the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Rizzo takes it himself. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And that one hit to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, there it is, a little old-school manufacturing of a run after that double ground out to get him over and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a strike in there, Alonso. In his fifth season, 28 years old. And he's a former Rookie of the Year. Going to now. Goes down looking. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. Yankees three, and the Mets one. 
Welcome back. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. Verlander back to work. On the ground, out to short. Throw to first is in time. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. All over that one right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure So they bring on the veteran, Jose Quintana. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And now here is Salvador Perez, Escobar. Fires across the diamond, and they get Perez for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. LeMay Hugh lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. John Curtis appears to be getting loose. Santana, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Bounce to the left side. That ends the inning. Clean work out of the Mets bullpen there. Seventh inning coming up. New pitcher for the Yankees, Scott Efros. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. And there's the strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Liner, base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now the catcher comes up to him, Francisco Alvarez. That one's in there, 0-1. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Ball. Escobar gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. Fired to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. And next for the Mets, Darren Ruff. Ball one, no strikes. And that's in there at the knees. And now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because oh, word will get around the league in a hurry. Canna stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. 
Montana tries to hold up appeal to first and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Righty delivers on a line base hit Alvarez through second. Now a relay to the plate. Save. He scores, and it's a one-run game. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Tommy Pham up now for the Mets. Pham hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Two outs, and one in scoring position. The next offering misses. Ball two. Two ball, one strike. That one hooked foul. Two-two down. Next offering misses down and away. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Francisco Lindor up next. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play, Franchi Cordero. the pitch going one that clips the corner going to count one and two I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Got him swinging. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Glaber Torres up to the plate. That one the other way. A dive. Nice stop. Nicely done for the out. Look at the big guy getting down and dirty, robbing what probably would have been a double if it gets by him. You love to see that because most times it's the shortstop or second baseman, but he wants to get in the mix a little bit as well. And here is Oswaldo Cabrera. Out to short. Toss to Alonzo. That's the inning. Yanks held in check, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Pitching change here, Caleb Ferguson. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. In the air, out to center. Verdugo makes the grab, one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Nimmo wow. at the plate now. That's ball one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next offering is in for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. 
the tying run at the plate. Fouls it off, still one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pit. Swings and misses, struck him out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. Wow. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. McNeil stands in here, takes ball one low. And there's the strike. One more. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Runner at first with two away. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. The 0 1 just missed. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. There's a strike. And the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that takes care of Alonzo. And that is the inning. Met strand one. They trail it 3 2. Out of the bottom of the eighth, digging in Juan Soto. No left fielder. And a pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Aaron Judge at the plate. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. There comes an 0-2 to judge. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. And, of course, sometimes you need to be patient as an offense and let the pitcher come to you. But you can't argue with the game plan they're using in this one. Line drive. Caught. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Through eight full, Yankees three, and the Mets two. New pitcher on here, Clay Holmes. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. Now it's going to be Eduardo Escobar. The pitch. There's the strike. Belton fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch is downstairs. The 1 1 is fouled off.
And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. And that's in there for strike one. Holmes, 30 years old now, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2011. Fought off foul. Only two now. That one drifts inside. And now it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Throw to first, ball game. And the Yankees hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, these two-game series are kind of strange. You're just so used to as a ball player, three games or four games, but you split, you feel like, okay, ho-ho, maybe it was a tie. We got to win, and we're out of here.